Hey, Grand Rising, I bright blessings to all of my pedal patrons here on Sunday morning, May the 7th, 2023. I hope that you guys are all doing well and have been able to ah, work within the energies of that powerful eclipse, <laughs> full moon, portal all at the same time. Um, it packed a huge wallop. And so if you are still feeling the effects of being a little bit groggy, a little bit out of it, maybe feeling a little disconnected, having some really powerful dreams and some other things coming um, up to the surface, that's what it's supposed to do. Hopefully today you can just sit and relax. So we do have a very interesting energy day today. So mm, it's not really crunchy. It's kind of sticky today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's because we have all quincunxes. We have one trine. Um, and again, that square that we had this morning with Saturn and Pisces was very, very interesting um, with that whole energy of dreaming because Saturn is really trying to um, make you balance out with where some restrictions and authority with um, within yourself are. So listen, we have the moon in Sagittarius that took place yesterday, which is good. It's a harmonious energy. It wants things to happen. It, it forces energy to take place. It wants to move. And so we have um, a quincunx that's taking place today with Mercury, with the sun, um, and also with Uranus in Taurus here. And so that's going to be a lot of evaluations for projects. Um, next steps and a lot of reevaluations going on with um, resources, especially with Uranus and Taurus. So there's going to be some money conversations most likely today for a lot of people budgeting, but also for longer term gains. Okay. Um, the big thing for me that's taking place today and will is the fact that we have Venus that's moving out of the third house of communicative Gemini and is moving down here to the fourth house of Cancer. So that's going to put a lot of highlight when it comes to our relationship relationships. If you're coupled up with someone <laughs> um, or even if you are dating someone, those those energies here are going to be um, very intense for conversations for some people. If things are well, then that should be very well. If things are not well, it's going to come out in the woodwork today because one of those quincunxes is here with Pluto in Aquarius. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's going to be very intense for some people, not everyone. Um, of course, having Venus and Mars in the same sign for a period of time is going to go because Mars wants to be assertive and Venus wants to kind of make things kind of, you know, harmonious. We'll see. But I will tell you that later on this evening, we will have this tr um, this train that comes in with Chiron and Aries. I know it's just the one little teeny tiny green line, but it'll help to harmonize where you're at and feeling comfortable with your decisions.